Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre in a bold address to the 76th United Nations General Assembly on Saturday, 25th September 2021, called for the abolition of the criteria used to determine access to concessional development financing by small island developing states, SIDS. St. Lucia's Prime Minister told the UN General Assembly that the indicators paint an erroneous picture of national prosperity. Mr. President, St. Lucia is calling for the adoption of a Global Vulnerability Index by international institutions. This index should include variables such as vulnerability to adverse weather systems and natural disasters, historical disadvantages arising out of plunder, colonization and exploitation, and the vagaries of the economic activities which such states depend on for survival. Such a Global Vulnerability Index will ensure that access to concessional development finance is granted based on the criteria that consider the true context of our fragile economies which are constantly on the threat of regression due to natural, man-made or political disasters. St. Lucia also calls for immediate measures to safeguard the solvency of SIDS which have disproportionately affected during the pandemic. These measures must include debt restructuring and write-offs, support to strengthen health systems, more equitable distribution and access to vaccines, and assistance for recovery that meets the demands of the developmental model adopted in the beneficiary country. Honorable Pierre urged the international community to adopt common approaches to managing COVID-19 in order to ensure economic sustainability. We call for the standardization of vaccine privileges across the global community as it relates to quarantine, isolation, and other related requirements. St. Lucia, like many other countries, is grappling with a decline in investment, trade remittances, and a growing debt burdens. There is an urgent need to accelerate global momentum towards the ambitious targets across various international agreements and developmental agendas. A common thread across these instruments is the need to address the unique and vulnerabilities and special circumstances of SIDS. St. Lucia and all SIDS continue to face huge spending needs to finance the immediate health responses that are well beyond our capacities. Such a shift in focus will reverse achievements in sustainable development goals, implementation, and in building climate resilience. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre.